amphetamine. Slang terms, uppers, speed, bennies, truck drivers, L.A. turnaround. Amphetamine was created in Germany in 1887 in the chemistry lab where multiple researchers were developing new drugs. The amphetamine was not touched or experimented with until 1927, and at that time it was sold as a decongestant. In the year 1935, in Los Angeles, California, amphetamine was discovered to have exhilarating, well-being, and energizing effects. Amphetamine is used in medicine today for treating disorders like ADHD, narcolepsy, and other types of depression. Different forms of amphetamine have been used to enhance performance for students during test taking and in militaries around the world during long missions at war times, and as well, some student athletes to stimulate and sustain energy levels. Different forms of amphetamines have been used recreationally in pop culture since the 1960s for things like staying up at dances all night. The extreme adverse effects have been noted ever since amphetamine was used recreationally, including anxiety, depersonalization, irregular heartbeat, hyperventilation, irritability, mental depression, nervousness, quick to react or overreact emotionally, restlessness, rapidly changing moods, shaking, shortness of breath, and trouble sleeping. Because of the major distortion of serotonin and dopamine in the brain, a tolerance is rapidly built in amphetamine abusers, which requires a user to use more each time, making it harder every time to give up using the drug. Long-term abuse can lead to permanent psychotic disorders like paranoia, hallucinations, and delusions. And some can never completely return to normal brain function. Permanent long-term physical effects are limitless, including vital organ dysfunction and failure, muscle and bone deterioration, cardiovascular and respiratory problems, and many more. Amphetamine addicts do recover. The first step for the amphetamine addict to recover is to detox physically and psychologically from the substance. This can take place in a medical or residential setting. This is ideal for a person who wants to live 100% clean and sober. Some individuals must take some form of prescription medication that will include amphetamines. If this person wishes to maintain complete abstinence, it is suggested that they discuss this with their doctor so they can become comfortable with the drug that they might need to take to help symptoms such as depression or ADHD. After complete detoxification, most amphetamine addicts who choose complete abstinence have better outcomes committing to a residential treatment center for 30 to 90 days. There are also no-cost 12-step self-help programs such as Narcotics Anonymous.